definitely not whenever. <laughs> Yeah, take it away. No, we're going to be going uphill. Wait, but there's a lot of downhill. Yeah, but this is mostly uphill going back. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't be deceived. You'll see. Cool. Come on, come on, get ahead of me. I'm not going that fast. For the footage, okay? Stay ahead. Great! That's fantastic! Keep up the pace! No, oh, you shouldn't be standing! Change gear! What, more? No, less! When you stand, you use more energy. So get in the right gear. Yeah, but my RPM... And plus, there's something. Your bike needs to be adjusted. It should not be making all that noise. Your gear. It's hitting a piece of metal on your derailleur. It should be smooth and quiet. Yeah, so we need to take that back. Come on, come on, come on. You know, I think you should be hearing is the wind. Yeah. Not that. I haven't had this for that long. Doesn't matter, it should not be making that noise. Your chain is hitting. It's not in gear. It's not in gear completely. It's not engaged. You can ask him. You might have to. It's, it needs a slight adjustment. Come on. Exactly. Oh, yeah.
go immediately. What? You can hear me from miles away. What's miles away? Exactly. Even mine needs adjustment. Hear it? See? But it's not as bad as yours. All right, come on, come on, come on. This is the workout now. This is the workout. If I do some interval training, that's all getting up off my bike. All right. If you're gonna do it for that, it's fine. But I want you to realize when you when you drop as low as I am, and a little bit of pressure, you're making it easier. For yourself. My chest? Yes. No, your hands lower. Oh. On your lower bars. Got it. That's what they're designed for. And you because you're cutting through the wind now. You're gonna hear the wind up here. You're gonna hear less of it down here. So it's easier. You're gonna go faster. Go ahead. Go. Yep. There you go. It's less energy. When you drop low, the lower you are to the frame, the less energy you have to expend. The bike shop three miles from here, but no, we're not going. Come on. So three miles from here or three miles from the beginning? What do you mean, the bridge? From where we parked. No, three miles from where we just left, that point. Oh. What if I, but you're, we're not going there.
Try your left, slightly. What? Try on your left, slightly. My gear used to have to hit it twice on my left. Huh. Go ahead, go. Footage, footage, you gotta be in the camera. Call it! Yeah. Change your gear. Soft. Okay. You want to adjust the Claris by any chance? No. <clears throat> I didn't bring any tools. Huh. You adjust the tension here. I regrettably rely on blind faith. When my rim collapsed, uh -huh. I just, I was fortunate to be I think I was divine intervention. I was near a bridge. I walked off to the road. I happened to have cash in my pocket, 
like I do now because I don't usually bring my card. And uh, the guy drove me. His shop was right there. He drove me to the bike shop. Mm. Okay, and I had enough cash to pay for the repair. And I rode back. That's how I know it's three miles to the shop. <laughs> Like what? Twelve more miles? Yeah. Just be yes. careful. I'd ride on the top here because it doesn't rub enough like that bad. Mm. This thing needs to be moved over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely gotta take it there. You can call them up if you want. Oh, that's right. Clarice has it over here. What's that? I oh, know. And then put it on here. So. There's ways to adjust the tension on the. Mm-hmm. It's not on there. Um, it's pretty weird. There's only really, like two things in there. Oh, there we go. 